All right, so I decided that I'm going to visit extreme places this month. So I started off in Minneapolis, I went to Charlotte, then after that I went to Vegas, and then after that I went to LA, and then to Anchorage, up to Barrow. I'm standing on the Arctic Ocean right now. I was thinking a good place to go next would be maybe Dodge City, Kansas. Because after being there for a day or two, I can say I'm gonna get the heck out of Dodge. And I'm probably gonna get try to get to Timbuktu. So from Barrow to Bamako, that's gonna be the journey. Bamako is the capital of Mali. From Bamako, I'm gonna go to Timbuktu. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a very hard trip, but it won't be as cold as here. That's for sure. It's about, it's not that cold here, but it is cold. Maybe 25 degrees Fahrenheit, minus five Celsius. I'm standing on the Arctic Ocean and it's completely white. So recently it snowed, so we got a little dust and powder here. And there was some wind, so the, there's little snow drifts here, so it makes it nice and white. I haven't seen the sun here, even though I've been here two days, and I was up at 1 o'clock a.m. last night, and it was just as light as this, but I didn't see any sun because it's just overcast. Now, I'm also trying to find some polar bears here, but I haven't had any luck with that. But I might come up here later on, possibly this summer, in a couple months, and try to find some polar bears. Might have better luck that time. Right now it's uh, pretty nice and calm and still air. I did find some dead uh, animal uh, remains from some hunting that has gone on. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. That's probably the most interesting thing out here. The one thing I wouldn't want to do is walk one mile that way or even further because you might get lost because eventually you will lose orientation. But I do carry a compass around with me so I probably would just try to go south. Looks like we found some remains here. It looks like got a caribou head here and the body. Looks like a little kid had brought his little fire truck with him to play. And then uh, <clears throat> something here. And then there's something over here that's quite unusual. You take a look at this. This must be part of the skin. I'm not sure why they left this behind. No swimming today. Ocean's frozen. Ocean's closed. I guess I'll have to come back in a couple months. Actually, I've never actually swam in this ocean. It'd probably be a good thing to do. <clears throat> Probably uh, in July or August, do one of those skinny dip events. At least have something to look forward to. Here we got the northernmost bridge called the Top of the World Bridge. So if you come to Barrow, you definitely need to come visit this place. This is a famous landmark. It's the map and the two whale bones that are on either side. So pretty important. Pretty old too. It's been here several years. So the town of Barrow is about just over 4,000 people. What else is there to say about Barrow? Because there's really nothing about there's really really nothing interesting about this town except for the uh, factoids that I like to, to keep on saying. Right now it's goose season, so they're hunting goose. There might be even some ice fishing behind me because I see some pe Eskimos out with their actually they're called Inuits. 
out with their uh, snowmobiles. So yeah, that's pretty much it. My last few hours in Barrow, then I head south. So I wanted to enjoy the weather while it lasts. Still waiting for that sun. Haven't seen it yet. I'm curious what these people are doing out there. What sort of experimentation or ice fishing or what they're doing on the frozen over Arctic Ocean. So I'm going to take a look. They're doing something. <laughs> Seven meters. Seven meters deep that hole? Yeah. How did you dig that hole? We used an ice auger. An ice auger? Yeah. Oh, okay. The ice over here was how deep until you hit water? You mean the uh, ice thickness? Yeah. It's 1.5 meters. 1.5. And then all the way to the bottom it's 7 meters. No. It's just a 1.5 meters. Oh, okay. And then below that is the water, ocean. Just the ocean water, okay. Yeah, so we, we only need to dig about 1.5 meters. Oh, okay. Here actually it's 1.4 meters. Oh. And then it is uh, connected. Oh, okay. Surface to the below the surface. And you haven't seen any seals come up? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no, no, no any wild animals. No wildlife? Yeah, no. Okay. Sometimes probably you could find some very small, mm. very small uh, animals. Yeah, there's another team here. Oh, really? They studied the, the biology ecosystem oh, okay. below the sea ice. Huh. So. Again. so we win, we really focused on the physics. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> so you're majored in physics, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. So after this trip, you go back to where? Fairbanks or China? You mean us? Yeah. Yeah, we will go back to China. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we have only, yeah, the authorization from the local uh, government give us is only to hmm. the May 20th. May so, 20th? Yeah, we need to finish the, all the, the field works before that day and then we will leave. Oh, okay. Huh. So they were from China. They're doing some university project collaborated with the University of Alaska in Fairbanks. So they were checking the water temperature and the salinity and solar radiation that penetrates the ice, things like that. And they're doing some sort of study. So it's interesting to meet them. They're here until May 21st for three weeks. Hey, hey, what's your name? Uh, Bryce. Why are you joking about your girlfriend? Uh, so... <laughs> oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> so, uh, I have a, I have a uh, girlfriend named Destiny, right? So she always wonder, she keeps thinking of how to make a joke with her name. She meets me a lot. Um, I'm her, now her, I'm her boyfriend, and so I make the bet. I usually make the joke of that. Uh, I got a date with Destiny. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that joke. So, um, hey, so have you ever heard of Timbuktu? Uh, is it a place? Yeah, it is. Okay, uh, it might be. No, oh, it's the uh, name of a city. Okay, no, where at? What's the name? It's like very far away. Hard to get to. That's very specific. Okay. It's like in Africa. Uh, oh. Do you think you'll ever visit that place? Uh, not soon. Or never. Most likely. <laughs> well, maybe I'll go check it out. Yeah. Maybe YouTube, like, uh, you can watch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to subscribe to you. Okay. <laughs>